So you may have this question, why do I want a sub that gets below 20 hertz if I can't hear it? Why do I want to spend the extra money on a sub that reaches down to 15 hertz while I can save money and get a sub that reaches down to 25 hertz? Why do I want to fork out the extra money for the lower extension under 20 hertz if I can't hear it? Well, you probably have an answer in your head, or maybe some of you do. Most people will say it's because it's bass you can feel. Bass under 20 hertz becomes inaudible, but we can still feel it. So when you're watching that movie, when that grenade gets thrown right at your feet and it blows up in your face, you feel that explosion because the bass is so low and it's so impactful. That's probably most people's reasons for buying subs that dig under 20 hertz, but that's not my only reason. That's not even my main reason. The reason why I buy subs that get under 20 hertz is for headroom. And I know what you're thinking. You may think, KP Sky, headroom, what are you talking about? When you say headroom, you usually mean power. You usually think of power. Um, when you get a sub and you talk about headroom, you want to be able to turn it up loud. So you get a powerful subwoofer so that if you want to turn the volume up, you have that headroom, you have that big burst of power, those dynamic punches will come through because you have the power. Well, I think of headroom in the same way, but for the low extension. Let's say I have a sub that reaches down to 15 hertz. Then I have a sub that reaches down to 25 hertz. Okay, great. This sub here at 25, can get down to 25, it says, but the closer you get to its lowest rated frequency, the quick, it, it starts to drop off really quick. So it may reach 25 hertz, but it's not very impactful. It's not very authoritative. My 15 hertz sub over here, I can't hear it. After 20, it's pretty much inaudible. Why do I want that over the 25? Especially if the 25 hertz sub is cheaper in this case, right? Well, it's the headroom. Since this sub can get down to 15, I know that it will destroy 20 hertz. It'll destroy 22 hertz, 23. The sub rated at 25, it might, it might get to 25, but it might barely get to 25. It may have to be turned up really loud to even hear 25 because it's at its lowest rating. It doesn't have much more to give around 25 hertz. But my 15 hertz sub at 25 hertz will sound super authoritative compared to 25 hertz of my 25 hertz sub. If you're following me, it can get confusing. So what I'm trying to say is I buy subs that dig well under 20 hertz because I know everything 20 hertz and above will come through with ease. And that's that headroom that I'm looking for. Same thing with power. You want headroom so when you do want to turn it up, you have the, the power to get there. Same thing with the sub 20 hertz subwoofers. If I can get under 15, then I know I have the headroom to play at 20 hertz, 22 hertz, 23. That's why I personally look for subs that dig under 20. And to be honest with you, I won't even buy a sub that doesn't dig under 20 hertz anymore. For me, 18, 17, 16 hertz is the standard. Why? Well, SVS sells an SVS PB1000 Pro for $599, $499, something in there on some sales. And that digs to 17 or 16 hertz. That's an entry level sub. SVS doesn't even sell a sub that doesn't dig well into the teens. Um, what else do we have out there? Monolith, their subs dig under 20 hertz. What else? Rhythmic subs, they tend to dig under 20 hertz. And we're talking sealed or ported. It doesn't even matter. So for me, 20 hertz is the, the highest frequency that I want my sub to be able to dig down to. But I won't even buy it if it's not in the teens. My rhythmic sub digs down to 12 hertz. And it's sealed. And it's not really that big, in my opinion. And I love it. And that's my benchmark now. I don't want anything that can't perform as the same 
or better than my rhythmic sub moving on in the future. I have a DIY sub that also digs down into the teens, right? And so that's why I find subs that dig really, really deep because of the headroom. I know that because it's rated down to 12 hertz that everything above that will be super impactful. When I'm watching a movie, when I'm listening to music, I know my frequencies are gonna come through with ease. The ease is why I like digging under 20 hertz. It won't stress my sub out. I know that I can play at high volumes at low extension and my sub be safe. That's another reason for me. If your sub is lowest, if its lowest frequency rating is 25 hertz and you have a movie at 20 hertz and you have it loud, well, you're probably going to run the risk of distortion. You're going to uh, potentially kill your sub if you play it too long, too low. The coils could heat up and they could burn. You could um, really just harm your sub when you're playing below its rated frequency. And it's hard to say nowadays what movies are putting into, uh, in, into that audio ingenuity. We don't know how low movies go anymore. 20 hertz, 15 hertz. We don't know what's going to happen in that movie. So it's safe to get a sub that you know can do everything so that you don't have to, oh my gosh, my sub's going to blow. Let me turn it down. And it takes you out of the, the entertainment. It takes you out of the movie. And even music. Some music does dig down pretty low. And if your sub can't keep up, all you're going to hear is the motor noise, port chuffing, maybe even a little bit of distortion. You're gonna to start to smell it if you're not careful. So I like to get subs that dig well under 20 hertz so I can feel it in my chest so that I know that there's headroom and that I know that I'm not gonna cause any harm to my sub playing it loud and low. So that's my reasoning under why I get subs under 20 hertz. But what I want you to do is tell me in the comment section, what subs do you have and do you know they're lowest rating how far down can they dig how deep can they play if you know tell me in the tell me in the comment section what made you buy that sub how low does it get and why did you buy that sub and do you enjoy it do you like it do you wish you had something different do you wish you had something better that plays lower that plays louder tell me your sub leave me its specs and tell me what you like and don't like about it i'm curious to know what kind of subs you guys are using out there because I don't think there's really many people that have the subs that I do, Rhythmic, Defensive Technology, DIY. I don't think there's a lot of people out there that have my subs, so I wanna know what subs you're using and if you like them and what they're rated for. Let me know that down below in the comment section. Leave a like button on there too, and subscribe if you're not already, and we will see you in the next video. Keep this guy out. Peace. Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down